Hi everyone, just a bit of a midweek brew day. Um, I'm on leave here for a little bit, so yeah, thought we'd just uh, brew up a beer while nobody else is harassing me. I'm just waiting for the water to heat up there a little bit. Sorry, something good like that. Yeah, so um, yeah, bit of, been a bit of a funny old week for everyone, I suspect, with this, the passing of Paul and um, um, that sort of stuff happening. But yeah, anyhow, I'm going to be joining in on Sunday morning here and, and brewing a supercharger. Um, in honour of the great man himself. Um, yeah, so today I'm just going to brew. I'm bringing a low alcohol, lower alcohol um, um, pale ale. So again, around that 3.7. So um, yeah, so with the grain bill, I, I tend to use about two kilo of Gladfield's malt, uh, 1.4 of um, Munich malt, and around 300 grams of um, white crystal in there. And, uh, Almost. Yeah. Two right. <laughs> That's the neighbour. Just giving me shit about that. January brew. Santa's hot. No, it'll be a um, no, just the low session pale ale. My brother's just gotten into brewing, so yeah, I'm trying to. He's drinking it as well, so I'm having to bloody well. Um, yeah, so I'm doing a weekday group, which is not like me. I was going to say, it's a boost. Yeah, no, no, we've got, we're getting the house recarpeted tomorrow. Oh, okay. But I'll tell you about it, you've got to drop the die on it, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so anyhow, I'll get this brewing today and people on the weekend, so I'm not being hassled. You see? All right. Get out. How do I get rudely interrupted? Give me shit about brewing on the weekdays, hey? Um, yeah, anyhow. So, um, yeah, and we've got um, some Simcoe Mosaic Centennial Cascade in here, so uh, that's, that's what we're doing with that. So it usually works out pretty good. So as long as you get those IBUs down nice and low, generally speaking, I don't put any bittering hops in it, and I really just everything for the last 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I, 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 I really enjoy them. Yeah, everyone else enjoys them as well. That's a bloody problem. Anyhow, so I'll, I'll 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 cut in from time to time when I'm brewing here. Cool. All right. So um, here's a little bit of footage from last week that didn't make it up um, because you know a lot of things happening around Paul last week and um, tributes and stuff like that. So I didn't I didn't put up my usual homebrew Wednesday. Um, but here's some material from last week and. Um, yeah, the, the low rider that I refer to in this is actually the beer that I'm again brewing today. So, yeah, um, catch you guys later. We'll see you next week. Let's, um, let's pour a beer from the tap, beer tap. Sorry, just bear with me. A little bit frothy, just, uh, just freshly carved. This is my low rider. I call this my low rider, I, low rider IPA. 3.7, heaps and heaps of hops happening in here. Nicely balanced little beer. Fantastic, crisp and refreshing. It's what you sort of need for this time of year. Um, so yeah, just been doing a little bit of brewing. Um, other than that, yeah, not too much else happening actually, really. Um, in the fermenter here, the other fermenter, I've got another beer called Arrogant Bastard. Don't know if you've ever had that before, but it's a, it's a, a clone. I don't really like clones, but it's a clone of Stone Stone Brewing. Um, and it's it's about, it's in the 7%, but it's made up of 100% Chinook hops. So, um, you'll have a little taste of that in the coming months. Um, just a general question, um, I last saw the bottle, as in the homebrew bottle, which left left here in 2013, left my place in 2013, last saw it at Zane's, uh, or Rocky Brocky, Rocky Brew, and so um, if anyone knows where it is, uh, I'm not particularly worried, I'm just curious as to where the hell, hell it is, um, because part of that bottle is a little, um, is a, a little pin drive, which um, has lots of footage of brewers and where brewers are from, which I think will be a really cool.
project at the end of it that we'll be able to look at and we'll be able to share. So, yeah, super interested to see where that bear has ended up. All right. So, um, on tap at the moment, we've got that Amber Eagle, which is like a, an Amber American Ale. Beautiful, lots of lovely malt happening. Here's the APA low rider, and here we've got the Rocky Rocky put by McLean, and of course, a bit of a whip beer over here. Beautiful. Sorry, I've just changed my gas, so all my pressure is already funny at the moment. If you see, if you come over here, come over here. All of my pressures are just a little bit high, so what I can do is I can fix that so my whip bear is a wee bit high. Do that. So where's my whip bear? Turn it off here. Gas it. Turn it off here. Gas it. Turn it off here. Now my gas is down real low, and I just get a little bit more gas in there. So yeah, I just put a new, I just got a new gas bottle filled up. So it's a little bit of um, playing with um, just recalibrating this when you uh, put a new gas bottle on. So that's something which is pretty cool. Cap gun. I bought this the other day. My dog work. Yeah. Yum bananas. Um, so that's it. That's all for this week. Um, yeah. Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Catch you guys next week. See ya.